In this video, we'll be talking about the best farmable for me as of now, March 2021. This won't just focus on the most gem farmable but also with the growth time, number of hits, drops, and others. So stay till the end of this video. But before we start, let me know the farmables that you are breaking right now. Or what's the best farmable for you and why? Comment down below and I might give my opinions with them. Hey, what's up guys? JohnXX here. If you're new to this channel, I am JohnXX and I make Gotopia videos like animation and other fun interesting Gotopia contents. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you'll get notified when I upload a new video. Well, way back years ago, Pinball, which is introduced in Grotopia on 2013, Black Rocks, Venus Trap, Sugarcane are the most famous farmable that you would farm back then. Well, you'd be rich if you're farming chance. Then the fish tank was added on 2015, then peppers on 2017. Then the laser grid was added on 2018. Maybe way back 2018 to 2020, this would be one of the best farmable as it gives higher gem drop with just 4 hits. And the time of the seed growth is significantly lower than the chance. And way back 2019 to 2020, laser grids are the most expensive farmables too. That they would go up to 200 per 8 to 15 word lock, but not anymore now. As more people are breaking it and more seeds are produced in Grotopia, the price of the seed will eventually go down. So for now, the best farmable that you can break are the peppers. So why peppers? So peppers are made way back 2017. It is only a 3 hit block with a medium gem drop and a relatively high seed drop compared to other high rarity farmables. What made it the best farmable is when you reach farmer roll quest level 7, you will unlock the chance of getting Blockoli. Blockoli is around 8 to 15 warlocks before and people are buying it for 6 to 12 warlocks right now. Depends on the demand since it is used on making anomalizing elegant psych for the clash event. So I tried harvesting a full pepper world farm. So the chance of getting a blockoli is around 0 to 5 blockoli trees per world. Well, 5 per world is rare, very rare, but maybe average of 2 blockolis would be cool. Let's say you get 2 blockolis per world. You get around 12 world locks which is equivalent to 600 seeds of Elgrid with a price of 50 per world lock. Well, I don't think you'll get that much of extra seed per world when you break a full Elgrid farm. Well, also you get extra seeds and gems when you harvest and break those peppers. You'll get around 200 to 400 extra seeds when you break a full pepper farm. That would be around 6 to 12 world locks at a price of 200 per 3 world locks. Not only that, you can use pepper trees, block rocks, fish tank on making those super pineapple trees on pineapple event. So John XX, how does that work? Well, the recipe of having a chance to create a super pineapple tree is splicing two unsplicable seeds that would have the rarities add up to 40 to 50 rarity. Well, it's just a chance to make a super pineapple tree. And dangerous pineapples have a chance to spawn on splicing two unsplicable seeds that would add up to a rarity of 50 to 60 rarity. If you want a high gem farmable then chance or laser grid would be good for you. If you're focusing on price of blocks and also chance of drop, sugar cane can be an option because you can get carrot blocks at farmer roll quest level 5. So sugar cane, especially in cooking day, would be around 100 per 1 to 2 world locks because you can make 100 sugar cane into sugar using the food grinder. Overall, for a medium gem drop and relatively high seed drop with a low seed time to grow of around one day and a drop chance of blockoli, I would still give my best farmable to peppers for now. Well, if you reach this part of this video, thank you and I hope you learned something from my opinion. Well, there would be others that would have a different opinion with me so you can comment down below so I would know. I hope you could give a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. This is JohnXX and I'll see you on my next video. Bye guys!